All right, boys and girls, so we're going to try and test out this piston coating. So we have a piston here that is coated, piston here that is not coated. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat this thing up for two minutes and try and keep everything where it is. And I'm going to test it at one minute, two minute, and then we'll turn the torch off. And then we will test it at one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute, and five minutes on the cool down. I'm going to test them all on this side. I'm going to test the top of the piston and I'm going to test the back side of the piston. And I'm going to do it all on this side here because the torch is a little more over here. And if you look, this is canted a little bit. This is probably not the most technical results we'll get because there's a lot of factors that aren't going into like when it's running in an engine. But hey, I'm here in my backyard. I can't, well, actually, in my garage. I can't do. A sophisticated engine test to test the back side of the piston while the engine's running but we can see if there's a difference between it isolating the heat on side to side also if you're new to the channel please um, remember to like and subscribe um, hit the bell icon so you can get more updates as these videos go I plan on testing valves next seeing if a uh, coating the top of the valves heads of the valves does anything to reduce the heat going into the stem so okay I'm gonna Get this going here. I'm going to probably pause for a moment and get everything set up so we can get going. All right, got a little stopwatch. And here we go. Two oh four on the back. One forty five on the front. One thirty. One thirty-two. One twenty-seven. Okay. Now the piston. So what I'm gonna do now is pull off the stand that's on, and then we'll check what the next piston is created. This piston's the coated piston. And it is measuring 81.5 at the top, bottom of the piston, and 81.3 at the face. So now we'll start our torch up, place it there, and start heating it up. One ninety six. 
All right, so we did our little test and came up with some interesting results. What seems to be happening is the stock style piston lets the heat pass through, which means that the face of the piston with the flame going against it is not heating up as much as the coated piston as it's passing through it, as where the coated piston builds the heat up on the piston side and doesn't let as much pass through to the uh, bottom side of the piston. So that kind of does add things to what you're thinking about, I guess. So we can see here after a minute, uncoated piston was 145 degrees on the top of it. The coated piston was 217 for a difference of 72 degrees. It was, the coated piston was hotter by 33%. But if you look at the bottom, the back side of the piston, 204 degrees for the stock uncoated piston and 196 for the coated. So that shows the coating is keeping the heat from passing through the piston, which is kind of what you want. And as you can see, um, it just goes up from there, 170, 294, and then 297 for the uncoated piston on the bottom, 274 degrees on the uncoated. So it's a 23 degree, degree difference cooler on the back side of the piston for the coated piston. So back here where your oil is hitting is 23 degrees cooler, but on this side it is 140, 124 degrees hotter on this side. So it's keeping more heat in the piston and chamber side. So could be a good thing, could be a bad thing I guess depending on what you're trying to do. Um, it's 42 percent hotter, but it's 7 percent 7.7 percent cooler on the bottom side so air cool Volkswagens like I'm dealing with here I want to keep my oil temperature down and but I also want to keep my heads cool so if I coat the chamber and the um, piston theoretically it's going to keep the heat from going into the piston which will go into the oil but it will also keep the heat from going into the head into the cooling fence so I don't know kind of a conundrum but I will put up, a take a picture of this and make it a still so you guys can look at it. It worked the same way, cooling down. You can see the uncoated piston was 268 on the bottom, 258 for the coated, so it was cooler. And it just kept that trend going, 238 on the bottom after 3 minutes and 225 for the coated piston after 3 minutes. So it was uh, 13 degrees cooler. Um, same thing though, all the way down to the very bottom. You know, five minutes later, 209 for the uncoated piston on the bottom and 197 for a total of 12 degrees cooler. It kind of kept that 12 to some reason here was a little different, but you know, it kept about 12 degrees cooler on the bottom side of the piston while it was cooling down. But also, in the same respect, it was hotter on the coated piston on the on the uh, surface. So it appears that the thermal barrier like retains the heat on this side and keeps it from going through, which, you know, it's an insulator. So anyways, boys and girls, I will take a picture of this, post it up at the end of the video so you can study it over and make your own decision. Is it worth it? Is it not? Depends on what you're trying to do, I guess. So I'm going to take a stab at it and see if it will keep the engine cool. All right, boys and girls, see you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.